Okay, so probably the most straightforward derivative we have is the uh, <coughs> the natural base of e. If you take the derivative of e to the x, it is just the identity. It's just e to the x. If you take the derivative of e to some, the u, um, you have to remember to multiply by the derivative of the power. So it's just e to the u times du dx. So in this particular case, this first one, I'm going to use chain rule. Where u is, I'm going to have to use chain rule within chain rule. u is the square root of x squared plus 1. So I'm going to write it as y equals e to the u, where u is the square root of x squared plus 1 or x squared plus 1 to the 1 half. I'm doing this because it's chain rule within chain rule. y prime is what I had up there a minute ago. It's e to the u times d, 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 u, dx. I can put in the square root of x squared plus 1 right there, but I've got to find du dx, so let's do that. So du dx is 1 half times x squared plus 1 to the negative 1 half times 2x. These 2's will cancel, and really I have x over the square root of x squared plus 1. That is du dx, so y prime is e to the square root of x squared plus 1 times x over the square root of x squared plus 1. And you cannot simplify that at all. Uh, you put this on top, you put the e on top, but that, that's about it. There's nothing else to it. You can also combine it with some of the other rules. The second one I have is combining it with product rule, where I have x squared times e to the x. So my derivative f prime of x, I would have 2x e to the x plus x squared e to the x. And oftentimes what you're going to find, you're going to see this when I apply the derivative in my next unit. What I'm going to find is I'm going to have to factor out the things they have in common. So factor out of x and factor out of e to the x. So I'm going to write this derivative as x times e to the x. This 2 stays, and I have an x right there. So it's 2 plus x. You'll see that written that way quite often. All right. So that's my derivatives on e to the x. We'll take a look at some general um, logarithmic and general exponential functions in our next video.